Right now in the DevEds community, we're navigating the build root menu config. I'm here with Abhishek, one of DevHead's resident embedded software experts. Hey Abhishek, so why do people use BuildRoot in the first place? So the reason to use BuildRoot at the very first place is the lightweight of the operating system. When you use Raspbian OS or Noobs or any other operating system which is provided by the vendor, it is mostly around 3 GBs, 4 GBs. It's like a complete operating system package which we have. Whereas when we use BuildRoot or Yocto or any other kind of uh, Linux building, uh, SDK, then the output of the image is usually around 150 MB, 200 MB. That's it. The packages are very confined, very precise, and one can use for their application. That's great. So when you have a build root environment, you would think because it's smaller or more confined that necessarily it would be easier, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Why do people have so many challenges with build root? Exactly. That is the issue with that also. Like uh, when people see build root, like let's say a beginner, a college grad or a person who just wanted to get into the embedded Linux domain, when they see the build root or Yocto, they get overwhelmed by the packages, by the options which they have. And sometimes that is like a downfall. Mm. People uh, do not have the clarity of the packages which they need. And when they go through all the packages, they feel like there is a lot to learn. But basically, that's not the case. You just need to be very specific about the packages which we need, which you will be needing for your application. Very good. So first, get your application clear. Once that is there, you can have the packages clear. Once that is also there, you can configure whichever SDK you want to use for your embedded Linux project. Great. Can you show us a little bit about that? Sure, I have my build root environment set up already. I'll just share my screen and show you. So to get the build root, we have to go to the GitHub page. Here, one can git clone the build root project directly. So we have our Ubuntu system over here. We are we will be going to the build root environment. Uh, works or uh, embedded Linux build root build root and this is where I have git cloned my build root system. Now, to configure any board, first we need to check the board is there or not. So that is inside configs. So here we can see like the board which we have right now is Raspberry Pi 02W dev config, which is there. So to set this board up for the build process, I just need to copy this line and go to the root location, which is here, and do make and the board name as simple as that it will just copy the def config from this board to the dot config folder file once that is there i can do just make menu config and it should bring me the menu config here one can do many changes uh, build options are there uh, system configurations are there and packages are there now here we need to search a package let's say um, lua so here we can see build options mirror downloads first option we'll just need to select the first option here this is like a lua rocks mirror which is it is showing me well if you do not want that package go escape and escape that will go to the back menu here you can search you can go from up arrow up arrow down to any other place four five six whichever number you want to select and the package you want to have like eight is a package let's say lua if i want to select lua i'll just type y it automatically selected this 32 bit number new automatically and all these things let's see if i want to unselect lua for that i just have to type n it unselected lua it's really simple y for selecting n for unselecting so escape escape for back escape escape for back and here we have options to set your configuration. Once the menu config part is done, let's say you have uh, selected all the packages which you need, then you can just make your build. The command is really simple. It's just make. Fitting. Yeah. <laughs> the whole build root environment itself is really simple and for the beginner so like a beginner friendly environment for embedded Linux, I'd say. Once the package uh, is built, it once the environment is there, then you can see the output of the build in the output directory. 
here you can go inside the images here you will have SD card dot IMG now this IMG is the output image of the build you just need to put the output file into a SD card and then you just need to flash it now here you may use Bellina Etcher or any other software which is preferred by you here I would be using a DD command here I'll be just saying if uh, this I'll be just selecting let's say SD card bin of SDB I am selecting some status also BS 4 MB uh, and that's it once that is done you can take your uh, device out and like you said it's only 159 megabytes right yeah 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 yeah. it's just 150 mbs and you will see the speed of it i have plugged in my uh, device here you can see the rainbow screen of it and here i will be having a boot up screen yeah basically here is the build out of the build route which you have done and that's how it's simple it is all right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But Abhishek, I've got one question for you. What happens if you are in the menu config and the package you need isn't there? Well, that's always the case, actually. Uh, we all write our own packages, uh, custom packages. And sometimes we do require like very specific packages, which might not be there, like specific version of a package. And for that, I guess that's a topic of a, another video, which we will be getting soon. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, if people want to find out more information about build root, menu config, getting started with embedded Linux, or potentially building their own packages, where should they go? Well, they all know the place. It's the DevHead community where we all belong. We are always there. They can always join, come, and explore. Perfect. He's Abhishek underscore Awasi underscore score tech i'm at techie lou and you can find us and a ton of other engineering experts in the dev heads community on discord which is linked to on screen and in the description below we'll see you in the service